The yeas are 97, the nays are 2, the bill is passed. Despite efforts by two Republicans to block the bill, the Senate overwhelmingly approved it. The measure will provide billions of dollars in compensation through 2092 to those impacted in the aftermath of 9-11. It extends a current $7.5 billion fund that was being depleted. The light at the end of the tunnel of what's been a very long and sometimes a very dark tunnel is only now a few hours away. Utah Senator Mike Lee and Kentucky's Rand Paul were the only two who objected to the measure. Paul pleading to the Senate last week to offset the cost by cutting government spending. Every bit of new spending, it doesn't matter whether it's a good cause, bad cause, or in-between cause. We need to not keep adding to the debt. It was comedian John Stewart and former NYPD detective Luis Alvarez emotional testimony that prompted approval earlier this month by the House. Never forget the heroes of 9-11. Never forget their bravery. Never forget what they did, what they gave to this country. Well, here they are. Detective Alvarez didn't live to see final passage by the Senate. For Stewart, it was a warm embrace and relief from a battle finally won. This has been the honor of my life uh, to work with the men and women behind me. We can never repay all that the 9-11 community has done for our country, but we can stop penalizing them. John Feel has been a fierce advocate for the compensation bill. Passing this legislation, there's no joy. There's no comfort. Yes, I cried with John. But that was to exhale. That was to get 18 years of pain and suffering out, and I believe it's out. 